guys, Karen Wolf here at the art studio today. I am going to show you how to paint um, a butterfly. Just simple little butterflies. Really cute, uh, fun times. And also we'll be doing some color mixing. So butterflies and color mixing. Uh, two, two things we're going to go over today. So um, I've already started a couple of butterflies. Uh, here, let me pull you in a little bit closer. And this is just a, a start of, of what we're going to do. So let's just see. Move this this way so you can see there. Right. Okay. So um, I've got my soft fine charcoal that I'm going to use to draw in the butterfly. So we're going to do uh, same as over here. We're going to do a little... Uh, just a little circle, a little tiny circle. Then for the body, there's just a um, just a little oval shape there, and then another oval shape, but it's pointed at the end, so you could just kind of come down with a little point. So you have a oval circle, oval. And then another oval that comes more to a point. And then we're going to have the the uh, petal or the wings, not petals, wings out to the side. And you're just going to go out, out. Looks like he's hanging out there. <laughs> That's a funny thing. And then we're going to come down here. To the bottom, same distance out, same distance out. It looks even funnier now. And then we're going to connect these on the end. We're going to make a circle and another circle and another, kind of not really a circle, but like a, a rounded edge. Just around that edge, round that edge, and round that edge. They do not have to be the exact same. Don't worry about that. And then down here, we're just going to do two little uh, loops. Just take, start right here at this wing, come down, and back in with a little loop. Okay, if the little ones can't draw this, parents, grandparents, somebody can draw this. It's easy stuff, okay? Then up here at the top, you have a little squirrely thing that comes up and around and around. And that is your antenna. So there's your butterfly. Pretty easy stuff, huh? All right, the colors that we're going to use are um, the, uh, I've got some purple here, but you can mix purple. Did you know you can make purple by mixing uh, two colors together, two primary colors together, you can make some purple. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to make purple by mixing red and blue. If you mix red and blue together, you will make purple. So we only have one, two, three, four, five colors on our plate, and now we have six. So we have the more blue you add, the more blue it looks, the more red you add, the more red it looks. So it's just, um, that's just a personal preference. See how more red that one looks. So I've got more blue in that one and more red in that one. So that's all the difference that there is. So if you take that color that you just made, mixing blue and red together, we're gonna make the butterfly. We're gonna do the wing out, trace it around, trace it around, trace it around. Same as we always do. And then we're going to paint in the middle. And if they're, the little ones are doing this, the adult can paint around that outside edge for them. Hand them the brush with the paint in it. And then there you go. They can paint that. If this is the, the uh, older children, then they can do this on their own. Trace around, trace around, trace around that shape, 
and then fill it in with your brush. Pretty easy, pretty cool. There we go. Is that not the neatest thing? That is uh, purple for your butterfly. Then we're going to go down here to the, the bottom, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to trace around, trace around, and paint in the middle. I've got a little bit more left. I'm going to trace around and draw in the middle. So there's that. All right, so we did not have purple on our plate. We mixed it with blue uh, and red, mixing blue and red together to make a purple butterfly. So that's fun. All right, now you can add just a little bit of white to that brush making just a lighter purple color. See how that just makes a lighter purple color? And come out here to the end and just sweep around and pull in. Sweep around and pull in. Just sweep around that edge, sweep around that edge, and then pull in from the outside edge. Just the color that's on your brush. No big deal. That's optional really for the older kids. Little kids don't have to do that. All right. So now we're going to paint the green, uh, the green body of the butterfly, and we don't have green on our plate, so we're going to have to make green. So green can be made by mixing a little bit of yellow and blue. So if you mix blue and yellow together, it makes green. Yellow and blue makes green. See there? Green. And if you want it to be more yellow, a more brighter yellow green, you just add more yellow. If you want it to be a more darker green, you add more blue. I think I added too much blue. Kind of made it look like blue more than green. And there's a darker green. So you've got a darker green and a lighter green uh, just by mixing more of the green, or more of the blue, I mean, or more of the yellow. So taking that green that we made with the yellow and the blue, doesn't matter which one you use, you can use the dark one or the light one, doesn't make a bit of difference. You're gonna paint in this circle Paint in that outline of the circle. And then you're going to paint in the center of the circle. And then outline here. Paint in the center. And outline the outside of this. And paint in the center. So there's your middle of your butterfly. Is that not cool? That is just too cool. All right. So then I'm going to rinse my brush. And you can add more to it if you want. It's your painting. You do it your way. You can add some highlights here. Take some white. Do a little bit of a light. A little highlight there. There. However you want to do it. You don't have to even do that if you want. Just leave that the way it is. With the littles, just let them paint in the purple shape. With the older kids, they can do some little fancy stuff if they want. Or just leave it plain. Uh, then we're going to take the liner brush, little liner brush that we've got here. I'm going to go into the water, get this black just a little bit, a little bit soupity like right there. Roll your brush around a little bit in it. With the little, little, littles, you probably have to do this for them. Uh, with the older kids, they can do this. Just take that liner brush and... Outline that shape, take that liner brush, and outline that shape. Now, don't push down really hard on your brush, because the harder you push on your brush, the thicker the line will be. Uh, you need to just uh, not push real hard, um, because if you do, no matter what kind of brush that you have, if you push real hard on it, see, I'm pushing really hard on that brush, and I'm making a really fat line. But if I take that same brush, get some paint on it, and don't touch, push down real hard, look how fine the line can be. Oh, 
if you have paint on your brush. Look how fine the line can be if you don't push down hard. But if you start pushing down hard, it gets as wide as the bristles are. So remember that the lighter you press down, the, the thinner the line can be. The harder you push on it, the wider and, and uh, bigger the line's going to be. Okay? All right. So you've learned color mixing today. Two colors that go together to make purple are red and blue. And the two colors that go together to make green, the two colors that go together to make purple, I'm sorry, I wasn't holding in front of the camera, is blue and red makes purple, and blue and yellow make green. So there's your butterfly. Too cool, too cool. Love, love, love that. All right, you all can do that. Paint you a butterfly and have big fun with it. Um, if you want, you can paint... Um, other little butterflies uh, around it um, that could work too you can do like this little one I did here just do a little butterfly just a little circle like that and then you can do the little curly cue there we can do one down here little body kind of like a little shape there there and the little curly cues so we'll go let's see let's do some want to make an orange one no orange on our plate so we're going to take yellow and red makes orange yellow and red makes orange and we'll paint in a orange butterfly. Now that saw fine charcoal showing through there, but that's okay. And then you kind of make a, and you can outline it in uh, black or something, and that would cover that up. And there's your orange. So what other colors can we make? Yellow and blue make green, and we made purple, and we made orange. I think that's about it. All right, let's do the green. We can do the green center with this center uh, color that we have. Well, let's make a purple center. Let's just not, let's just make it have a purple center. Taking some of that purple color that we made. We have a purple and orange butterfly over here. And then up here, let's make it a bright yellow. We'll make it, I'm gonna put some yellow back on this too and brighten that up a little bit. It's just gotten kind of dark. So we're gonna go up here with this one. We'll make a yellow butterfly. Just color in the outside and then paint in the center. And you don't have to do these extra ones. I just thought it would be fun to have a couple more on there. You could make as many or few as you want. And then we'll do, um, let's do an orange center on this one. There we go. Then we're gonna do the outline in black of the um, antennas. Oh, I can't think of that word. So I'm gonna get my script liner, get it wet, and I'm barely touching to get these antennas on there. There's that. Isn't that cool? And after you're done, if the um, if you want to, it's it's fun to outline them for the little ones because they get out of line some. And if you take the uh, liner brush and just outline these where they've painted and it goes out of line, it makes the shape still there, but yet their uh, painting is still... Uh, 
they painted it, but you can still see what they were painting because you've outlined the shape. And a lot of times, too, what I do is I um, outline it, draw it first, and then uh, outline it with a Sharpie so that whenever they paint, the outline of the drawing doesn't disappear. They can still see the drawing. So that's really cool. So... But this just makes it uh, more uh, stand out, and the little ones can do uh, the painting on the inside, and you do the draw, drawing this shape around the outside, and then. And I will see you back on here again uh, real soon. Thank you all so much, and paint a butterfly or two or three or four. They're fun. I appreciate you, and I'll see you back on here again real soon. Thanks.